Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve exercise 2.3. Okay, so let us solve the first question. Find one fourth of the first question, one fourth, second question, three fifth, and the third one, four third. Okay, similar type we have done in our uh, last class. Let us solve. So we have to first find one fourth of the first question that is one fourth here. So this will be your A and a B. You have to find one fourth of the second one. That is three fifth. And in C, you have to find one fourth of this number. Four upon three. Earlier we have learned that of means it will be multiplied. So let us multiply now here. So one fourth multiplied by one fourth, what will be your answer? One ones are will be one, four fours are sixteen. Let us solve the second one. One fourth multiplied three fifth. So your answer here will be three ones are three, five fours are twenty. Third one, see here, one fourth multiplied by 4 upon 3 okay so if you want you can multiply 4 ones are 4 and then 4 threes are 12 and then simplify it further or else if you see here 4 and 4 can be cancelled so you just say 4 ones are 4 ones are so it will be 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1 3 ones are 3 okay so you check if there are common factors you can cancel them if no then leave it so second problem we have you have to find 1 seventh of these three fractions so this you solve for homework let us solve the second question that is multiply and reduce to the lowest form if possible so in the first question we have a combination of proper fraction and mixed fraction so let us convert this to an improper and write it down first so you have 2 upon 3 multiplied by let's convert this 3 to the 6 plus 2 will be 8 upon 3 next let us multiply the fractions now here so we will have 2 8 the 16 3 3 the will be 9 now 16 upon 9 is an improper fraction so the final answer you can write it as a mixed fraction so you just solve it in the rough okay so uh, 9 ones are 9 so you will have 7 7 remaining here so how will you write it in the form of mixed fraction 1 will be your whole then 7 ninth. let us solve the second question here 2 7th multiplied by 7 ninth. if you want you can multiply 2 7s are 14 and then 7 9s are 63 and then simplify further or if you just see the simplest way will be 7 ones are 7 7 ones are 7 this will get cancelled so what is remaining we have 2 ones are 2 and 9 ones are 9 look at the third question 3 eighth multiplied by 6 fourth here so if you want we will multiply it as 3 6 are 18 and then 8 4 are 32 and then cancel further okay i'll show you both the methods 3 6 are 18 and 4 8 the 32 and now you can simplify further and check which are the common factors we can start with 2 table 2 9 the 18 2 1 the 2 carry 1 you'll have 12 so then 2 6 the 12 okay uh, 9 and 16 we don't have any common factor here so 9 upon 16 will be your final answer and this is a proper fraction the other way Let's say if you directly had to cancel in the beginning step only, you could write it as 3 8 multiplied by 6 4. See students, when we cancel, it is the numerator and the denominator which you can cancel or you can cancel it like this cross, but not denominator and denominator, numerator, numerator will not get cancelled. You cannot cancel 4 1s or 4 2s are here, okay. Either numerator and denominator or you can cancel it like this crosswise. So, 6 and 8 we can cancel in 2 table 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 so now you multiply 
So you see here 3 and 4 cannot be cancelled. 3 3 is a 9, 4 4 is a 16. So you see which way you find it easier. If you find this method simpler, then you go by this method. If you find cancelling out in the beginning step and then multiplying is uh, simpler for you, then you go by this method. So I have solved three questions here. So there are four more problems in the exercise 2.3. I have even shared the image. So those uh, four problems which are remaining, you have to solve for homework. Let us now solve the third question. Multiply the following fraction. The first one we have 2 fifth and then we have a mixed fraction. So let us convert this mixed fraction here. So 2 fifth multiplied by 4 five is the 20 plus 1, 21 upon 4. Okay. So, uh, 2 and 4 can be cancelled here. 2 1s are 2, 2 za. So, what is remaining? 21 1s are is 21 and 5 2s are 10. Since it is an improper fraction, you will have to convert it to a mixed fraction. So, after dividing, you will have it this way. So, 2 will be your whole number, 1 will be your numerator and 10 will be denominator. So further, if you convert, you have to get back this answer. See, 10 to the 20 plus 1, 21 upon 10. See, we are getting back. Okay. So let us now solve the second one. Here, the first number is a mixed fraction. So convert it. 5, 6 to 30 plus 2 will be 32 upon 5 multiplied by 7 upon 9. So here, we do not have numbers which will uh, have a common factor and which will get cancelled. So we will have to multiply. 7 to the 14 carry 1, 7 3 the 21 plus 1 22, 5 9 the 45. So this is an improper fraction because numerator is greater, isn't it? So we will have to convert this. So solve it in your rough work. 45 5 the is 225, that will be greater. So we will have to take 45 4 the, that is 180. So subtract 4 minus 0, you will have 4 and then take a carry, you will have 4 remaining here. So 4 will be your whole number, 44 will become numerator and 45 will become denominator. So uh, under third questions, uh, I have solved the first two questions, there are 5 more problems. So you will have to solve that for homework. All these problems will help, help you to uh, practice more problems. See that you write it neatly and all this rough work which I have shown at the side, you will have to do it in pencil. Even if you are solving it side by side, you will have to draw a straight line. Uh, it will be better if you write it one below the other because your book may not be that big as I have here. If it is fitting, then you can try to fit it and do it. Let us now solve the fourth question in exercise 2.3, which is greater. So we have fractions which are given here, that is 2 seventh of 3 fourth or 3 fifth of 5 eighth. So how to solve only let's say if only this fraction is given then how to uh, solve it we have learnt in our earlier classes that is of meaning we will multiply. Okay, So after multiplying check what answer you will get here and then what answer you will get here and then finally we will have to compare which fraction is greater. So let's do that. So you will have 2 seventh of meaning I will multiply here 3 fourth. Okay. So 2 ones are 2 two are 3 ones are is 3 and then 7 twos are is 14. Similarly let us solve the other side. Let me copy the question here. Of meaning we will multiply. So 5 and 5 will get cancelled here. So it is 5 ones are 5 ones are. So what is remaining? 3 ones are is 3 and then 8 ones are is 8. So after solving the left hand side we have got here as uh, 3 upon 14 and here I have got it as 3 upon 8. So we have to now compare and check which fraction is greater. Look at the denominator. Here you have denominator as 14 and here we have the denominator as 8. So it will not be possible for us to compare. We could compare it easily only if the denominators were common. Since the denominators are not common so let us find LCM now here. The denominator here is 14 and here we have 8. So let us take out the LCM. 2 7s are 14, 2 4s are 8. Then 2 2s are 4. 7 will not come into table so you will have to bring it down. Then 2 
1s is 2. Again, 7 will not come into table, so bring it down. Now, 7, 1s are 7. So, this one we have already got here, so bring it down. So, LCM, you will have to multiply all these factors, what we have got here. That is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. So, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 7s are 56. So, our LCM here is 56, which means the denominator will have to be 56 now. So, uh, I am I'm, uh, writing that number again here, 3 by 14 and 3 by 8. So, denominator has to become 56. So, check 14 multiplied by what number will give you 56? It is 14, 4 is a 56. So, same number you will have to multiply in the numerator as well. 8 multiplied by what number will give you 56? 8 7 is 56. So, same 7 you will have to multiply in the numerator. So, 3 4 is 12. 14 4 is 56. That is the uh, LCM what we have got. And then here 3 7 is 21. 8 7 is 56. Now, look at the denominators. We have the same denominator. So, it will be easy for us to compare whether 12 is greater or 21 is greater. So, it is this fraction which is greater, isn't it? Because the numerator is greater here compared to this numerator. So, we will put a sign like this. Okay, then finally we will again copy this statement here down and we will say 2 7th of 3 5th. This is less than this particular fraction or you can even say 3 5th of 5 8th is greater compared to 2 7th of 3 4th. You have one more problem which you will have to solve for homework. That's all for today. Thank you students.